Hi everybody, this is Khalid. India got independence on 15th August 1947, as we all know. Still few days left, the soul of every Indian is already full of essence of freedom. Today I have chosen to speak on nationalism. Let's begin and please be with me. That was a historic day for every Indian. T20 final 2007 between the arc rival India and Pakistan. Pak was chasing and Ms. Bahul Haq was at the crease. Hitting fours and sixes, taking their team closer to clinch the victory. A deep silence mixed up both hope to win and fear to lose fell among the audience in that room. Suddenly, a strange sound came to my ear. I turned back, saw a short statured, red faced, shivering seven year old boy behind me. His heartbeat was badly pumping. I left the match, came out along with him. The boy was a die hard cricket fan. On Friday, he would be the first to reach mosque because on those days, matches were mostly scheduled on Friday. After namaz, Imam Sahab would say, Allah hamare mulk ki team ko fateh kar. And the boy would loudly say, Amen. On that day only, I understood nationalism and defined it as an emotion as natural as sun rising in the east and setting in the west. As natural as fragrance in flower, as natural as sweetness of honey, as natural as sourness of lemon. Nationalism just like other emotion, like happiness and sadness, courage and fear, sensibility and anger, feeling of pride and guilt which human being carry since he was born. This do not need to show to others, nor as a symbol or any limit that you can achieve. We are nationalist when we feel the agony of underprivileged and try to uplift them. We are nationalist when we keep communal harmony. We are nationalist when we respect and help each other. We are nationalist when we bring peace among enemy. Most important, when we are, nas- we are nationalist when we sacrifice and have the sense that the property and the resources in nation belongs to everybody and try to bring equality. It's quite evident from the history that nationalism has brought constructive changes like independence of state as well as destructive changes like leading to war. Now it's totally on us which ideas to choose and which to reject. Thank you.